smash like ten beers on Saturday. <laughs> like it's all yeah, about I mean, you, yeah, dude. It, come it's on. all about balance. All right. So all right, all right. Well, this uh, well, we'll get started. This thing's recording, so I'll, we'll make sure we cut all this uh, stuff out. Uh, normally he's in here, and but this is this is gonna be great. We're I'm ready. Excited. You're ready. I'm excited. Um, all right, <laughs> we'll get started. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Lee, your realtor with Nebraska Realty, and thanks for tuning in to Omaha Sips and Tips. I got another great uh, sips that we can have and you should enjoy. I got Jeff Tezak with Tiga. 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 Yes. Yeah. And uh, man, we're gonna we're gonna have a sip a couple of these different things, and, and it's a cool story. I've been on the website. I checked it out. Um, I appreciate you coming out here and sharing this. Um, and but before we get to Tika, um, you are a you're a San Diego native, right? Ah, oh, yes, yeah. I mean, at this you're point, you? at this point, I, I'm I'm more or less a Nebraska. So native. you're in Nebraska <clears throat> because you, you came here, you played some baseball, and if you if you go to the website, and I'm going to put it up real fancy, uh, drink Tiga. Dot com, right? You're on it. Drinktiga.com. Yes. Check it out because it's a cool story. And I got a couple questions about the story because I'm reading it. I'm thinking, all right, this guy, you came here, you played baseball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, for all of my, uh, I think most, I, you know, big, big, big 12. 12. Big 12. This is back in the big 12 days. So I'm we're, older. we're, we're aging you. <laughs> yeah. Big 12 days. Um, y- you graduated. And then you got went to grad school. No, actually, this is the crazy part. Okay, because I'm I'm thinking you. I'm way too old th- to that for that to make sense. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah so I uh, I'll give you that a little bit of background just because I think um, okay. it'll make a little bit more sense of how me and Haruna became good buddies. Because Haruna is. He's from West partner. Africa, Burkina Faso. He's our partner right. and uh, co-founder, and so it'll make a little bit more sense. And so, you're going to talk about Katie. Is that your? Yeah, is that your wife? Kid, well, she's. You don't want to. You don't want to tell me. She's more than the co-founder. Okay, right? you don't want to. She's, she's the right. one that keeps the ship right, and we just hope to survive in the meantime. Okay. So, okay, that's perfect. Sure. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so I played baseball 2007 to 2009, and then I played a couple years in the minor leagues with the White Sox, and then after that, I pretty much left. So I moved overseas from 2011 to 2015. Okay. Okay. So wow. I I lived between it was Austria to start because uh, it was in the central of Europe, so we could travel. It was really cool. Um, then I moved, I met some people, and I moved to Australia, Oops. and then I met some more people there. Ironically, went back to Austria, and then I ended up getting a job in Australia for a few years. And so when I was in Australia, uh, I'm not going to say I'm a food person. I still wouldn't say I'm a food person. Ironically, my life's kind of been dictated by it now. But um, I started a bagel company while I was there with a, uh, yeah, it was, that was a long story. So we, wow. we, okay. we, we sold bagels at farmer's markets um, for a couple years, and then I came back. And so on the way back, I played baseball in Spain, uh, which is also, this is just a lot of this. Things, this, yeah. this is great. You know what? When people watch this show, they, they like want to hear like crazy stories. Yeah. I think they're like, okay, yeah, this guy, what? Yeah. He was Australia, then he's back into Spain. It, uh, people love this kind of stuff. Yeah, there's so a lot. Good. <laughs> there's a lot of places. So, uh, and at the end of the Spain trip, I ended up coming back to coach. And so that's where the years kind of make a little bit more okay. sense. So I came back in 2015 and went to grad school and started coaching at gotcha. that time. So I skipped okay. about five years. So that kind of dates me. But the idea was, um, you know, baseball g- got me a lot of places, but they weren't necessarily places, you know, that I wanted to go see per se, right? Especially in pro ball. They were awesome places, really cool experiences. But I was also like, hey, uh, I can go live in Vienna, Austria, or I can go live in the coast of Australia. Wow. And and that opportunity I couldn't pass up in our 20s because I feel like, it, and I'm seeing it now, it gets harder, yeah. and harder to travel as yeah, you get older. Yeah, that's true. And so I think uh, it was a good decision. Um, and then it, it opened me up to um, viewing everything a little bit differently. And so that's when, you know, I come back to grad school and I become really good friends with Haruna, who's okay. from Burkina. And that, that whole thing, I had literally not been around Americans for, I don't know, what was it, five years? Because when I lived in Spain, nobody spoke English around me where I lived. Um, and the, I lived in Brisbane, Australia. And so Brisbane literally is like very few Americans. I would say most Americans live in Sydney or Melbourne. And so I was just surrounded by that those people, and it and it changes you know your view on everything. And so you kind of look at what works there, and then you think of ideas somewhere okay. else. And then you also just become uh, used to meeting people from everywhere. Normally tells me if we're uh, the kid. Normally tells me if we're both in camera, but I 
Or are we good? We'll, we'll cut the yeah 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 nice. perfect. I was out of okay, camera. Okay, so yeah yeah you're out of camera the whole time. Can you redo it? Can no, you redo it's funny it? That's... I just did that the other day on something. So. Okay, yeah no, <laughs> you, it, that's good. That's good. No, okay, so then you met Har- it's Haruna. Haruna. So in uh, we're gonna get way too detailed, but in uh, in Muslim, Islam, right? Uh, Aruna or it's H, but it's okay. Aaron. It's literally Aaron. Aru- okay. It's, I think it's Arabic, but it's like um, it's just Haruna. It's a cool story. So I'm just picturing you. You know, I'm reading about. Tiga and the and the, the benefits of you know gut friendly hydration in this fruit which is which is so crazy because it's dried it's from Africa. Yep. Yeah. All uh, what whatever whatever the country what country? So multiple countries. <clears throat> think of more semi arid places. So more dry. Uh, which we're not having right now. It's hot and humid. I mean, here. pretty much. All I mean, America. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. So it's uh, Haruna's from Burkina Faso, which is in West Africa. Uh, and there's, there's Ghana, there's Mali, okay. some of the main places that grow it in West Africa. And so that's kind of where the original idea sprung from. Okay. Now, I, and here's my thing with, with you. What, what, was you. what were you studying when you were in school? Because I just wonder, you know, how do you get to a point where you're like, hey, you know, we're just hanging out. You know what? This would be a great, would be a great drink. I mean, how would you ever even hear about this little fruit? Only from Haruna, yeah. yeah. Fruit. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm like... How would you even know that this thing is is, is available out there? Yeah, so uh, that's exactly... Uh, so I was studying history. <laughs> okay. So uh, my plan was to come back and uh, coach and then teach history, whether that was junior college, something, some college, uh, and coach at the same time. Uh, don't really understand why I did history even now, uh, but it does teach you a lot about uh, culture. Like I, my... Cultural. my it wasn't a thesis, but we kind of did a thesis where everything I studied was um, like international, right? So, okay. So that was what I was really focused on, Europe, Asia. Uh, and so it always intrigued me on that side. And then the fruit and that idea came from Haruna wanted to go back to Africa and do something. So he he's an academic, like at heart, right? He's got a PhD. The smart. I mean, he was literally proofreading all my papers. <laughs> so he's like, no. And, and it's always English, good to have a buddy like but that. But English is like his fourth language, and he's and he's going to speak it way better than us, wow. right? Way better than us. Um, and he's just an academic, right? So, but he so he saw the value in education uh, in in building communities, right? And yeah. I am uh, I'm the opposite, where I think. It's instilling the, uh, the ability to be an entrepreneur wherever you are and whatever that facet is. And so we had talked about it. Okay, how do you create something that way? Like, how do you develop something with that? And so he um, introduced me to the fruit in a drink. And they have, like, a native drink, which is baba milk and honey. Um, okay. And it was good. It was good, but it was also, like, what is this? Like, yeah. this is the craziest thing I've ever had. Uh, but it did give me a ton of energy. And so... I was like, all right, we're on to something. Problem is, I'm lactose intolerant. Okay. <laughs> so okay. we're got to eliminate the milk. Yeah, Somehow we got to get rid of the milk. Yeah, eliminate the milk or get the new milks that have all come out. But, okay. uh, but uh, <laughs> so that kind of like started it, right? It was like, okay, you got this cool drink, uh, this fruit. It's in it. Like we found out from the Lion King. I didn't, you know, the Lion King, the fruit from that Rafiki wa- wipes on Simba is literally the fruit. Uh, it's the big tree. They literally no have the, they have the tree at Disney World. I've never been to Disney World, but I okay. know this now. Okay. Uh, it's the tree that's in like the uh, I think it's the Animal Kingdom. So like we all know the tree, this Madagascar tree, but yeah. nobody knew that there was a fruit. Holy so that kind of like okay, that sprung. And then he said, hey, listen, this grows in rural regions. People locally harvest it. It's a way for them to make money that they otherwise have to choose between farming a lot of times or they they have no other way to make money. And so it's this, it's this way that they could just take a fruit that's going to fall to the ground and then make money. So that started it. And that's kind of where it began. It was like, okay, so what? And then it was this, it's been the genesis, which we can talk about more, but yeah. Man, yeah, okay. Was, so, well, I, I, that's fascinating. People, I mean, really, um, you know what? We should probably taste one. Let's let let's taste it because yeah. you're talking about the fruit. Yeah. Um, and it is a fruit. Yeah, the baobab fruit or baobab. Yeah. And you got a picture on your website, so people yeah, uh, they're the gonna go. Do you have some? I do have a fruit. Yeah, but we don't. Uh, but how big are these? Uh, this big. Holy! S- when you get them, when you get them shipped, are they? So you, that's the unique part. So it actually ships in powder. And that's why we, that's why a small uh, group of people that have an idea could do it, even come close to doing it was, it's not shipping liquid. We're not shipping uh, an extremely expensive product. Uh, The fruit is literally powder. So like that, that shell, it looks like a coconut shell almost, but usually like oblong, like long. 
and it's super hard, but inside when you crack it open, it's powder. That's amazing. And so they just, they, in, uh, they have like a factory there and they literally crack it open and we have, we'll have, be putting some videos up shortly about that. And, oh, that'd be cool. And okay. you literally see them just seed it down into a finer powder and so then they just ship 20 kilo bags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to Lincoln. Uh, yeah, well, we actually, oh, well, kind well of. It, you know, yes, not yes. the logistics yes. eventually it gets here and you do your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's test this thing yeah, out. I mean, sure. now that we're talking about this this thing, uh, I can't believe how big they are. Here you go. Uh, you know what? You're going to demonstrate how to dump that. Yeah, so one of the big things is, and I think this will kind of explain the, uh, the powder better, but um, you usually want to drop it in at the top of the drink. So if you drop it at the bottom, uh, the baobab fruit is hydrophobic, meaning that like uh, the water will go around it. It'll close off. They don't like it. It yeah. doesn't like it. Okay. Yeah. So if you drop it at the top, you see I won't just drop to the bottom, so it's not heavy like a salt or a sugar. Again, I don't know if you it's ever. It's real just... powdery. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like flour. It almost has a consistency of a flour, like just a basic flour. Um, and so I usually just shake it up once and then it'll almost get there, and then you just shake it up twice, and you're all diluted. It's pretty crazy, actually. For, I, that's for being, amazing. For being what it is, so. Okay. All right, let's try it. We'll grab your cup out. Oh, I got these. So this, these are fancy glasses um, that I had made, and I do have Omaha Sips oh, and Tips for even... whiskey. Yeah, yeah, these are branded. I, it is Sean Lee. I am a realtor, <laughs> but uh, I do this I do this show to, to, you know, visit with people and promote small business around Nebraska is cool. I think uh, it's real cool. I mean, you just even meeting you, this is. I mean, this is fantastic. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I uh, watching your show and then obviously being on it now, but like, I think realtors have to know everybody in the first place, right? You have to know what's going on. They have to know the city, and I think there's nothing better than uh, having a drink with somebody, right? To talk about I, things. You can't beat it. Yeah, yeah. You cannot beat it. So this is the raspberry lemonade. Okay. Um, yeah. It already it smells Cheers. great. Cheers. Yeah. It's not whiskey, so that's, uh, I'm a little sad that's, about that. <laughs> we, 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 we'll do whiskey we another time. If you just want to drink whiskey, it we can have you another. It is going to drink this before okay. or after you drink right. whiskey. Right. Will that help? It helps a ton, yeah. That's so smooth. I mean, it's so smooth. You don't feel like a, what is it, lemonade? Lemon? Yeah, so the raspberry lemonade is going to be a little bit more uh, tart. And they're not super sweet. They're not uh, unsweetened by any means. Uh, but they're. Just I think a nice, I like that. That's a nice light balance. I think the personally, I think everyone's taste is moving that way. There are the drinks that still are super sweet. Energy drinks, things like that, are still super sweet. But I think as uh, you had on a few weeks ago, where you you brought on the Ensign beverage, right? Yeah. They do like a zero sugar or one gram of sugar in their servings. And you get more flavors in. It's still a palate to get to, like the taste going from sweet to less sweet. But I think this is what what, I the, think what people are starting to like. I love it already. I mean, um, it's amazing. And it's got all the uh, good benefits, right? Yeah. Energy, um, gut friendly. I mean, I, I was listening to another podcast uh, you were on, and um, they made up, you know, some comments about. The, the less processing, the less sugar, right? I mean, just... Yeah, so that was a... Uh, I would say that would be the more technical podcast. Okay, that's a technical... Go, okay, we yeah. That, We're not going to get into that, but, but basically, it's... basically, yeah. So basically, the fruit is 50% uh, fiber, which is also a prebiotic fiber. And so mm -hmm. we would know that from kombuchas being probiotics, things like that. That's the big differentiation. The fruit's been used, and just keep it very simple, the fruit's been used for thousands of years for gut health there. So they would put it into porridges. They would pour water into the actual fruit and just drop it into there and shake it up within the fruit, and then they drink it, or they can just eat it straight up. And it always, it, it's like if you had a stomach ailment, that's what would help heal it. Okay. And so we just, our goal was to put a ton of it in there. And so we put over uh, seven grams of fruit in there per serving, which uh, is a lot. Most products in our space barely put seven grams in their product. This yeah, so. This is good. This is the orange mango. Holy moly. Yeah, everybody's got a different preference. And then we have these things now for shaking, too, because it's easier. <laughs> I like it. And you can get that. Did I see that on your Not uh, yet. Website? Not yet. We're about to launch these. Okay. So these, I don't know, whenever this comes out, they'll probably be on. But we're revamping the website. Okay. And so these will be kind of included in every... <clears throat> Every, every purchase. Well, like your original first purchases. Okay, sure. first yeah. purchase for sure. Yeah, 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 you can, and you can, I mean, you you can get these online, but I, I saw, 
You got these in Walmart, local? Uh, no Walmarts, that would be sweet. But uh, okay. no, the big one for us has been Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee's been a great partner. Okay, Hy-Vee is, uh, is Hy-Vee's good been partner. wonderful. We've, we're in all, most of most of the Omaha ones, all the Lincoln ones, a decent amount in Kansas City, uh, Des Moines. Hy-Vee's just been okay. really good to work with because we could sell into each store. And then we're also in No Name Nutrition's in Omaha. So I don't know if you ever go to the okay. No Names. Yeah. Those are fantastic I mean, I'm, I'm more of a wing beer guy, so I'm working on the new. Nut- you know, getting well. That's why we also sell wine, beer, and spirits. That's I, <laughs> <laughs> which is where I met uh, the, the best sampler your, in the world. You're yes. the best sampler in the world. You should tell her. So she should probably subscribe when she's watching this. Uh, the best sampler in the world. She she did a great job. I mean, I bought that. I bought a bag. Uh, I drank it um, after bouncing around. At, you know, small beers and whiskeys. Um, and then I was like, "Wait, hey, how you doing? What?" <laughs> what do you What do you got here? Is this local? And she's like, "Yeah, you need some." Yeah, it was great. That's why so, we uh, That's why we were there too, by the way, because like because uh, I get caught in that place too. Like on oh, Fridays, yeah. okay. and Fridays at Wine Beer and Spirits. I mean, might be the best thing you've ever experienced. That's right. If, that's right. If you're over 21. That's and so it's a great place to be at the end. Okay. Of that line. Yeah, that was that's a that's a good place. You know, sometimes I, I the older I get, I'm I'm older, but I I always know I need something. You know, when I said gut friendly, I even responded on uh, email to you saying, "Man, I'm looking forward to a gut friendly uh, deal." Because you know, sometimes you know, the older you get, yeah, you know, <laughs> I need something that's just friendly that just isn't going to cause me a little bit crazy. You know, and I do like that other lemon lime drink, uh, the original um, Aid, but it's oh, Gatorade's just, rain, main one. You know, lemon lemon lime. I used to those are be the most classic really, tastes of all just, time. By the it way, it tears me up. You know, I it's so you could blind pl- taste that still. You know that, right? Like if I gave you uh, ten drinks and I gave you blind tasted Gatorade lemon lime, you would know what it is. I, I like guarantee you, with childhood, like, is that it? I yeah, think it okay. Is. Like I, think I can it is. still remember. I can still tell you the taste of Gatorade lemon lime out of anything I've ever drank. And the, and the reason is uh, the reason that we put gut friendly or that that we talk about it that way is that a lot of those electrolyte drinks originally were high in sugar. They're starting to go to less sugar, but even with the salt and uh, artificial or natural sweeteners, is uh, it? There's nothing for your gut, right, to kind of help it. And that's what we noticed. I need it. And we talked to a bunch of Ironman guys when we did some of those events, and they would talk about gut rot, where they would, their stomach would just be have a ton of sugar, and they couldn't process the carbohydrates, and so their stomach would hurt. And then a lot oh. of times you get, uh, I mean, this is never fun to talk about, but diarrhea, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like things like that. And so it's not a fun subject, and I think, you know, our customer base can, I mean, we're, it's great for kids, it's, it's good for anybody, but what's interesting is people that are solving a problem. And, and as we get older, we're looking to solve more problems for our health. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right? And that's, uh, and that's yeah. kind of where we, where we sit. Yeesh, yikes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I can already tell you, I really enjoy, I enjoyed it the first time I had it, and I've enjoyed having it um, now. Um, what, what's that last flavor? You, oh, lemon you lime. Got? Were we saving that? I'm, yeah, yeah. No, you're doing good. the lemon lime. Yeah, yeah. This just, is my, so lemon lime, uh, I, what's also cool about, I, what I do with our products a lot too, is I'll um, mix them with all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, yeah, so let's like hear about lime, So like lemon lime, I'd put like a greens drink with it. So a lot of people don't like to drink their greens drinks because they don't taste very good. You mean like a spinach or, you yeah, know. Yeah, or like you can put it in a smoothie, but like uh, there's a lot of powdered drinks now that are greens drinks kind okay. of things. And so a lot of people just kind of like plug it and chug it. And uh, so we just do stuff like that. I put it with that. Orange mango, I put with a tiny bit of orange juice sometimes for fun. Uh, okay, yeah. It's yeah. this is great. Just water and mix is easy. It looks good. I mean, it looks like that's where we get thro- that's where we throw. It looks that's like where we throw nectar. people off because they're like, "Is this lemon lime or is this lemon lime?" And yeah, it's like, you it's just you want to make sure you have the bag set out when yeah, you're doing yeah. it. But it's just the fruit color, like the the fruit. So like our next batch, I I'm pretty sure was a lighter um, baobab color. So like the baobab fruit ranges from super light color to like a more an orange color. So this one was a more orange one, but the next one will be a lighter one. So it won't even look the same. It'll look like a different drink. No kidding. And we had talked to one of the flavor companies that does some, they do like natural colorings and they were like, do you want to color it? And we're like, no, one, no. And then two, we can't. Like it's going to change every time. Let's but, just, yeah. So just call it, just call it good. Yeah. Well, that man, this is fantastic. I mean, it really is. I, I love it. Um, what, what, what do you have on the horizon? Like, do you, do you guys, Hey, what's our new product? What flavor or what, you know, you got anything on the, 
on the horizon? Or are you just like, hey, we got these <laughs> core ones that we're, we're doing here. Um, we're mixing up a big batch of blueberry muffin. I don't know. what <laughs> That I, would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. No, so we... Um, we have a fourth flavor, strawberry. Now um, we have a fifth flavor that's ready that we haven't launched yet. And okay, then, top secret. Okay. And then we have a second formula that's going to be similar to this, but a little bit different. Um, that will be launched. We don't really know yet. We haven't decided on like a launch date for that. So we have a second formula, and then we're going to start moving into more of that green space, more hot drinks as well. Kind oh, of, okay. Wow. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So it, anything that's powdered that you starts as a powder form is pretty much we'll start to create over the next year to two years, um, and it's just kind of a process. So right now it's it's about streamlining what we're doing now, making sure more people know that we exist having them try the product and then start to bring out new products. People are going to try this. After this show, uh, you probably hundreds gonna, of thousands. Uh, hundreds of thousands are going to get on there. You're going to be sold out for for the Christmas season. I mean, if they don't I mean, know us gonna... from this, they know us from Michaela, who you met. That's true. I mean, she yeah. is. I that's mean, one that's of who them. you need on the show. That yeah. She has met. She probably knows everybody in Omaha. She's, okay. Yeah, she's amazing. That's so. cool. It's, it's really cool stuff. You know, and I... Just even around the office, I always tell people normally ask me, most of the, the, the folks out there when I was running you by the the band there with where all the, <laughs> they do a lot of the work, listings and stuff, they always give me grief and they always asking me. So uh, I'm always telling them, I've got uh, this guy from Tiga or I've got, you know, I had Erica the other day, you know, just constantly. Yeah, yeah. Just who, do you, who, you, who are you bringing in? Who are you bringing in? What's, what's going on today? They know if I'm here at like uh, 3 or 3.30. <laughs> Um, you know, oh, what's the show today? Well, let's, uh, so it's, it's real cool. Um, geez, I love this stuff. What, what else, um, can you do with this fruit? Can you, know, cause it's a powder. Yeah. yeah everything. You make breads. Yeah. So <clears throat> am I, am I, am I ruining this for you? Like you got no, like no, breads no, no. and no, toasted no, you can. things just. That you, We're, so it's not there yet. So I'll give it the 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 idea um, why we started it, and I, we it kind of comes around to this. So we started it because obviously it's harvested uh, in rural regions that otherwise don't have a place to make money. But they do all sorts of stuff with it already, and but everybody in the U.S. Okay. that sold it, or even in Europe mainly, that sold the fruit would just sell it as the powder in a bag, like more or less. They just okay. be like, here's baobab bao powder. And at the end of the day, most of us don't know what to do with something, especially if we don't even know the benefits. If you're not of familiar, it, right? Yeah. If you're not familiar, okay. you look on the sheet and you're like, oh, baobab, cool. Like, what is that? <laughs> right? Yeah. It's not gonna make you buy it all of a sudden, right? You're like, is it whiskey? <laughs> no. Is it beer? No. Like, what's the name, right? And so we we looked at what do you create that um, that people can easily consume. And so stick packs have become more and more popular and yeah. they're just getting easier to consume. And so we put it into a form that people were becoming familiar with. And so the the areas that are next are mainly still drinks because more people are getting used to drinking, you know, collagen type drinks, greens drinks, uh, hot drinks, so your chocolates, your, uh, they call them like uh, alternative coffee drinks. So like not using caffeine. Things like that is where we can start with, but the baobab fruit's really crazy because it can be used in everything. So it can be used, uh, pow like um, it can be baked with. It's a little sour for baking. I did try okay. it. Okay, <laughs> okay, you little, did. You you were it you was were a little okay. too far. Um, it can be used in yogurts. It can be used in milks. It can be like anything and everything. Okay. Um, so it's a really unique and versatile fruit. It's just it has a unique taste. And I also am a firm believer that if you're going to use something, use it at the like efficacious amounts. Meaning, yeah, okay, meaning right. like. Uh, it's like drinking. You get enough. It's like you want to drink a beer with a alcohol. Benefit. It's like you want to drink a beer with alcohol in it, but then you're drinking like a 3.2. So like you know, a beer is normally about five percent. Yep. And then all of a sudden, the bartender gives you a 3.2, and you're like, I, I was asking for a beer, not like a yeah. you know 3.2 beer. And so like, we want to make sure that when we put the baobab in there, that you're going to get some sort of benefit from okay. the fruit, and that usually runs at a certain amount. And so we try to put a lot in there. Um, so then creating formulas around that can be remotely difficult because okay. uh, of the form of the fruit. But, yeah, that's – I mean, we have a lot on the horizon, but the big thing in our space is there are a lot of products. Like, we didn't do this because we had some revolutionary idea that no other companies ever – you know, everybody's coming out with a product, and they're like, we use stevia, we use this, yeah. we – like, ours is better. Ours, it's not that. Like, we did it because this fruit is readily available, grows wild, so, like – uh, and you probably heard this on the other podcast, but it, to explain this, so every other drink that you have has been pasteurized, meaning that it's been heated up 
or changed its form to, to kill the bacteria, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's how we don't right. get sick, right? But the fruit is naturally powdered, and we don't have to do that, meaning that you get all these micronutrients that otherwise doesn't exist. So we don't have to be anything special. We just take it in its natural form okay. and then produce the product. And so it's things like that that I think can differentiate us. And then it's just explaining, you know, we don't lead with baobab fruit. It's good and bad to not do that. Uh, again, you don't, most people don't know what it is or how to say it. Uh, and so like saying, starting with that doesn't make sense. And baobab so, fruit. Yeah. yeah. Ironically, we get some fun names with that too. I'll bet you do. Yeah. Now, uh, before we finish, I, I just want to say you, in, in a short way, you guys worked to put this together to get the flavors right. I mean, was this like your third try that you found the right formula? Or did you go through like five, six hundred different deals? It was a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'm just like, you didn't just stumble upon it. I mean, there's a lot of work involved to yeah. get a formula, right? I mean, yeah. it's not like, well, yeah, we just... Throw just it mixing in. it in with yeah. some lemons. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, uh, I'm not that... Uh, we call it type A, where you you know schedule it out and it's like okay. 457 time, right? But it was a lot. Okay. It was a lot of trial and error, uh, a lot of tasting. And at that time, Haruna um, was still in the U.S., and so he was there with us. We were trying each one, be like, no, this one, this one needs more of this. This one needs more of this. Okay. Okay, is this the right amount of this? Uh, we kind of like stuck at the very beginning with the specific amount of baobab, so then it was building around that. It was a, it was an interesting thing. Since then, we've kind of learned that we can we can play with a few of those things. But creating formulas, uh, honestly, is a, is a, like everybody can do it, and it's also pretty fun. Like okay. trying to get to where it's a taste that you like it. Uh, you, you do it all the time, right? At home, you're gonna mix. A whiskey. I think you had that blender for whiskeys out. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's cool <laughs> you dude. blend two or three. It's the same idea. You do it making a mixed drink, right? You're gonna put a little bit more yeah. Sprite or a little bit more of this, and then you're gonna add lemon, and then maybe you add bitters, and like that building of a drink. That's just easier because they've already created that original formula. In our case, we were able to create something that completely doesn't exist. And a lot of times, people drink it also like, and they're like, well, I can't put my, you know. I can't put my head around it. Like, what is it? And it's like, well, the fruit creates its own taste too. So you're, you're not going to get that from anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, you know what? Did you, did you want to mention the, your third partner at all in this oh, whole? Yeah. Katie? Fi- yeah. Yeah. How she got into this. Yeah. How did she get into this? You yeah, got married. Her roped her you roped her in. in. Yeah, yeah. You got married or you just. No. So, so it, it came about, we all um, became really good friends and then she, she's really good at getting things done. I would say we're like, uh, I'm the I'm the one that starts it. She's really good at getting it done. And Haruna um, uh, is the one that keeps us all together. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. Like he's, he's so, uh, he's like the wisest man you've ever met. Right. So like, he'd be the one that like kept us going, kept us on track, but she would be the one that's like executing on specific areas. We need this yeah, by this yeah. date. By, okay. And so Got it's it. been a really good partnership there. And then we were very different in how we, what we do and what we like, what our skill sets are. So it really worked really well as we were building over these last couple of years. Okay. And then now we're at a stage where it's, she can only do it part time cause we just had our first kid. And so congratulations. Yeah, thank that's you. Real, thank that's you. real yeah, cool. So okay. It's, it's been fun. So yeah, those three, um, and then we just added some more recently. So, okay. Wow. Okay. Well, congrats. This is this is great. Everything's uh, moving moving real well for Tiga. Drinktiga.com. Yes, that's um, that's what you got to do. You can order it. You can you can do whatever. You got a lot of cool things happening on the uh, uh, on the horizon. Um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Matter of fact, I'm going to drink this on the way out. So, hey, folks. Thanks for. Uh, Tuning in to Omaha Sips of Tips. I don't know this 2021 20, episode 22. Up there. I, I, love I can't it. even, I, I don't even know. But uh, please subscribe. Check out Jeff Tezak and his uh, partners in Tiga at drinktiga.com. And uh, man, I, I love it. Thank you. Again. Take care, everybody. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming. Yeah. Oh.